Hey guys, I just picked up this Ryobi no, uh, non-contact infrared thermometer. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it basically you point it at a surface, it's gonna tell you how hot that surface is. So um, apparently it doesn't tell you like the, you know, the, how hot a room is or, or the air, air temperature or anything. It tells you the temperature of a surface. So like you could point it at the floor, at your window, at like, like your car, your computer, whatever. So, you know, save on energy costs, see where like energy is leaking out. Um, you know, seal things up better, detect problem hot spots and cold spots. It has a laser guide to see where you're actually pointing it at and where you're reading from. And it comes with a battery. So let's open this thing up and test it out. All right. comes with a manual. Maybe I'll look at that later. Seems like the kind of product where you maybe you should look at your manual, but anyways, not now. All right, so it comes with this little warning. Uh, you know, has a laser, so don't shine it in your eyes. Um, I have no idea if this is strong enough to instantly blind you. Probably not, but it's probably not good for your eyes, so just don't, you know, shine it in your eyes anyways. So let's pop out the battery and get this thing, get this thing going. All right, so uh, yeah, so this is where the laser comes out, and this is where the uh, the temperature reading beam comes out. So that that would be the uh, yeah, I don't know. They just call it the measuring beam. So yeah, laser beam, measuring beam. Um, what else? So you got your trigger trigger here, an LCD screen here. Um, you have a Fahrenheit. Uh, let's see, where where is that? Um, uh, right on here. Uh, so here inside the battery compartment so move this part of the handle off that's a battery compartment and right in here you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius so um, yeah I'm in the US right now in New York so um, I apologize to everyone in pretty much every other part of the world we're gonna be measuring in Fahrenheit rather than Celsius we could measure in Celsius, like everyone in the world does, or Fahrenheit, like we do here in the US. We're gonna do Fahrenheit today. Um, sorry to everyone outside the US, but um, it is what it is. All right, so we got our nice nine volt battery here that came with the product, which is really nice. Just gonna connect this up. And there we go. Let's stick this in here. And let's slide this on. All right, so this is a tight fit with, once you actually put the battery on, it, it's kind of a tight fit with this door, so you kind of really push it down. There are little slots here that you have to line it up with. You really have to push it down because um, there's like barely enough space for the battery at all. But push it down and then you can slide it up like that and it fits nice and snugly, um, totally fine. All right, so you can point it at whatever you want to take and there you go, records the temperature. 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's see here. Did we switch that to, we got that on Fahrenheit. Well, let's try this again. You'd think it would display both on the screen, right? All right, so what do we, what do we have? 25 Celsius, 25.5 Celsius. The max apparently can go up to 25.5. Okay, so um, yeah, oh yeah, so there are some specs in here. We're, we're gonna see what's going on with that. But temperature range, it does uh, negative four to 600 cells, uh, Fahrenheit. And that's negative 20 to, uh, you know, 315 uh, Celsius. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, accuracy plus or minus five Celsius. Uh, you, and, uh, you know, a bunch of other things. Uh, it, it updates every 0.5 seconds. Uh, it, the actual device has to be between 32 and 120 Fahrenheit or zero and 50 Celsius. Yeah, so wh whatever. Um, any case, for whatever reason, this is measuring in Celsius. Um, yeah, so there we go, 24. Yeah, let's see. And you can see the laser on the floor there. I'm just taking, you know, 
a reading of what temperature the floor is. And that should update, you know, wherever I'm pointing, that's taking the temperature. All right, let, let's see if, what happens when we switch this. All right, so that was set to, maybe this, this switch is in reverse. Flip it over to point towards either that or the switch is messed up. All right, switch it over to Celsius. And we have, okay, it's giving us a Celsius reading anyway. All right, looks like this thing only likes to do Celsius for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I don't know why, that, that's kind of messed up. Maybe I should read the manual more carefully, or maybe this should just work. All right, yeah, this switch does not, and look, look, at, look at that on the battery, it gets scraped like that, because it's that tight. All right, yeah, so we're reading in Celsius. I, I can't get this to do Fahrenheit. Um, interesting thing. So um, I think that's probably about it for today. Um, yeah, that, that's basically how this thing works. You know what, I'm gonna measure my hand to see if I can get a different reading. What what temperature is my hand? 33.9 Celsius, 33 Celsius, all right, versus the floor, which is 24.7, 24.6 Celsius, 24.5. It mostly stays the same. You can see the reading updates every half a second. Move my hand in there, boom. You see how it moves up and you can see the temperature difference that quickly. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of, that's basically the basic functionality. That's what you get in the box. I'm gonna test this out on some other things. And um, I'm, I'm also actually going to, uh, so I'm gonna do some more testing with this. Um, and so I'm probably gonna record another video, you know, showing, you know, all the things I test this out with. So I'm gonna test it on like my computer, my car, the window, whatever else I can think of. I'm gonna bring it inside and outside, do a lot of testing. Um, I'm also gonna see if I can figure out what's going on with that, you know, Celsius versus Fahrenheit setting. I guess if you're, you know, somewhere else in the world, that wouldn't matter to you, except that it's not working how it's supposed to, but hey, um, that's fine, I guess. Um, it's, it's no big deal unless you, well, yeah, uh, you know, if all you need is Celsius, that's fine, but who knows why it's doing it. It's a little unsettling, um, and I kind of want Fahrenheit myself, um, you know, sadly enough, but um, yeah, so we're, we're going to try to figure out why that's not working, something going on with that switch, maybe a bad connection or anything. The other thing I'd point out, this is so tight, it actually scraped the wrapper off of the battery but it, it comes with a battery, which is kind of good. A lot of things don't come with batteries. And um, yeah, it's a pretty neat tool. There's no on off switch. You just pull the trigger and it turns on. So I'm gonna imagine this screen is gonna turn off by itself um, soon enough or eventually. This will probably last for a good long time. This, I can't imagine this takes much power, but um, yeah, we're gonna try to fix that switch, see what's going on with that at least. And we are gonna demo measuring other things in the next video with this thing. I mean, I'm gonna post a bunch more bunch of other tool videos in the meantime, but we are going to come back to this thing after I've done some more testing. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that follow-up video. And we have a lot of other, you know, tool reviews, demos, testing, and other awesome tool related videos. So you're going to want to stay tuned for all of that stuff. You're going to want to hit the subscribe button. You, you, you want to hit the little bell icon so you get an update when we actually come out with a new video. Otherwise you'll have no idea. Um, and you might want to give us a thumbs up. You're probably going to want to leave a comment down below. If you know something I don't know about this about this tool, um, feel free to tell me down below. Well, the, the more I know, the better. And if you have any comments, criticisms, questions, anything you want to say, just you know, leave a comment down below the video. We we want to know what you think. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it today for for today. So uh, you know, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.